Rent or buy, hey Pikmin? That is the question. Uh, four hours, four, four hours and 30 minutes in. What can I say about this game title? Is it worth your time and money as usual? I'm trying to guide you guys. I don't want to forget anything. You know I always do this off the top of my mind. I don't write anything down. I go one shot and that's it. So is the game play and is as good as the good old games? Because I'm a big, big fan of the Pikmin games. So if you're a big, big fan of Pikmin games, I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. Does it play like the good old Pikmin games? Yes. You throw Pikmin at enemies, go grab stuff and everything as usual. It plays the same, but it's the catch. It's 2D gameplay. Now, I was worried it was going to get boring, not challenging. The worlds were going to be small. The amiibo uh, features. I, I, I thought it was going to be bad, but uh, boy, was I wrong. I'm actually compelled, and I really like it, and I can't really put it down. It satisfies all my Pikmin need in this 2D new style. It could have been on an iPad or a touch screen or whatever, but you know, nah, we don't want that. Who games? Who games on an iPad? Honestly, I don't. Never. Newer generation do, but not me. So, on with the game. Why is it good? Why is it bad? Um, first off, good old story. Same compelling story. Captain Olimar just scrap his, uh, he, he, he just scraps down and, and heads down with the spaceship. A crash over a brand new planet. And on the planet, there's a brand new planet. There's Pikmins, again, to help him out. But the spaceship is not scrap, sorry. It crashed down, but it ran out of fuel. So the new compelling, so original story, it's, well, the last one, Pikmin 3, it was all about food, getting food. But this one, it's all about putting gas. You need 3,000 whatever points of gas to refuel the spaceship and you can leave the planet. But you have to do all these awesome, epic worlds. So there's a sector, and like in the good old game, there's different worlds in that sector and yes you will have to go back and redo the levels to get the outmost out of the level and all the items because the old games you used to uh, harvest food in this game you're you're harvesting diamond rings and knives and harmonicas and you know it's more material stuff and then the Pikmins, they pick it up. Best part is they don't have to walk all the way back to the spaceship like in the good old games there's a portal that appears right next to you once they get it. They have to walk a little bit. And then it warps back to the spaceship and you get the points of fueling. In each level, there are three main articles you have to, you know, find. And in different parts of the level, it will be com compelling. It will be puzzling. You'll have to go back, like I said, and redo the levels. Uh, first level, I went three stars. Other levels, it was two stars. I had to go back. Some doors are locked. And you need like 16 Pikmins to, to, to break down that door or a switch needs the weight of 16 Pikmins on it so the switch can go off. So be mindful of your Pikmins. Yes, you will fight bosses. Yes, you will fight creatures. But the whole experience of the game is circle pad or D-pad and with the pencil because you're throwing Pikmins with your pencil wherever you touch on the screen, right? So you want to throw in at enemies, you throw in Pikmins, pick up the items. There is a two screen view. So top and bottom, that's how the game plays, which is also epic. Might I add that this amiibo doesn't do anything in game. Now I want to point out, you are collecting items throughout the games to get some fuel. Well, it's got to be the most valuable amiibo figure ever made for a game. The game features amiibo features with this amiibo, must own, must buy that also. It's too bad, I don't know why I didn't bundle it with it when they sell it. Nintendo pretty much wants to make people run. 
because I hate scalpers for this and I hope the people that are gaming with this game will get their hands on this. I gotta explain. You drop this amiibo in a level. Some levels you just start off naked. You don't have any Pikmins and you have to collect them all the way through the level. But this one, when you drop it right off the bat, when you start the level, you get four Pikmins. It saves also all your Pikmin army in there. Because you have a different area while you're playing you need to let them explore around the more you have they explore around while you're doing a level it's a completely different thing they collect pieces throughout the park then when you're playing the map you're like top view of the map you have those eight for amiibos levels appearing throughout the map if you want to access those levels you have to tap your amiibo on your 3ds whichever way you're using i'm using the good old this or if you're playing on your new 3ds xl well you just tap it on the screen and it will give you access to those secret levels which are very puzzling and very fun to do very short but puzzling you have to think before you move but they're cool and in those levels you get more items to harvest to make more fuel for your spaceship so it's got to be i'm just saying the rack is all behind me in-game features the most valuable the zelda one breath of the wild give you some exquisite armor but you know to really help out your gameplay this 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 amiibo right here really helps out a lot in game it's just insane so you got to get this so uh too bad this guy doesn't work so for the franchises this would be pikmin 4 but they didn't write it on it is it worth it all is it worth it more than the good old ones well it plays a lot differently but it feels quite the same but it's quite exquisite i must say must buy must own gotta own this guys if you're a big pikmin fan and you've just been missing playing that franchise well, you'll be more than served on this. It is quite compelling, very good, very original. I like the new 2D style. I wish it was on Nintendo Switch, but hey, it's still good on the 3DS. I suggest playing it on a larger screen, like a 3DS XL or an XL screen, because playing on the 2DS is kind of hard. And I wish I could just tap with my thumb to throw the pigments, but I really have to use the pencil. So honestly, must all must buy. I think I explained pretty much everything, but you have to get that amiibo. I swear it really helps out a lot. Plus you get more items to fuel your spaceship, which is the main part of the game. So I'm gonna say good night and I'm gonna go play some more for sure, but Honestly, really awesome job, Nintendo, on this. I really can't complain. It feels, it really feels like an original Pikmin game, but they took the franchises and they made a new style of gameplay, but it's really fun to play, really good. Good job.